While not unexpected, the detection of white nose syndrome in Montana has wildlife biologists extremely concerned for the state's little brown bats. If white nose syndrome affects bats in Montana the same way it has affected bats in the east, Montana could see catastrophic declines in our bat populations. White nose syndrome is a deadly fungus that affects hibernating bats. First detected in New York State in 2006, it has rapidly spread across North America, devastating bat colonies and wiping out little brown bats, a likelihood that Montana now faces. White nose syndrome is a really difficult disease to manage. There's no treatments for it. So the primary way we can manage for bats in the face of white nose syndrome is to just really protect them during the breeding season, do good work for their habitat, and try to protect you know, known places that we know are important to bats in the summer. With limited management options for white nose, wildlife biologists will continue to monitor Montana's bats and are asking for your help. The public can help us track the spread of the disease across the state. If you find dead bats anytime between now and June, it is possible that they died from white nose syndrome. So please contact your local Fish, Wildlife and Parks office. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife and parks.